This is IO Live, and I'm Timothy Jordan, and we're here in the Google Assistant Sandbox. I'm going to go find Wayne, who's going to give us a little tour. What do you say? All right. Hey, hey. Wayne. Well, that was How convenient. Going, <laughs> I was just here waiting for you. <laughs> I'm glad that you were. So there's a lot going on in the Sandbox, and yeah. you're just going to take us around and tell us what's what. Give us all the new stuff, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a lot going on right now. I mean. One of the biggest things we announced at CES this year was these new smart displays that we've got. So the Assistant is now no longer just an audio experience, it's now a display experience. It runs on these smart displays, it runs on phones, Android Wear, Android TV, Android Auto, it's kind of everywhere. So there's a lot of new possibilities for the Assistant and there's over 500 million devices that now have the Assistant on it. So it's definitely a platform that everyone should be building for. And yeah, we've got a bunch of cool demos here. We've got my friend Kenny over here, who's an expert at showing this demo. So um, let's see what we can do with this tablet. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. You want to show us a demo? Yeah, so today we're going to show how users can interact with our new smart displays uh, to do something cool, such as a cooking app. Hey, Google, ask Tasty how to bake brownie cheesecake cookie. So as you can see, this is very similar to a tablet experience, except we consider this voice first in that we want users to always interact with this using their voice. Um, you can interact by tapping on the display, but as a user, you're cooking, your hands are dirty, you don't want to be getting your devices dirty. So you can also interact with this completely hands-free. Hey Google, skip to step 10. So as you can see, this, this gives user another option of interacting with their Google Assistant. They can be busy with their hands. They do not have to use their hands at all to control this, and they can still get all the information that they need. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, Wayne, what's next? Yeah, so here we got our website here, which is our uh, actions discovery area where consumers can find out more about the kinds of things that they can do with actions on Google. There's over a million different actions that are made by Google or by third-party developers, just like everyone watching this show, that they can make and then make available on here so that consumers can find out what's available. So you can see you can do things like buying tickets, ordering flowers, um, all kinds of things appear in here. And there's this huge directory of all different categories that people can look in to find out about the things they can do. So there's lots of different things. I mean, um, I have a suspicion you probably could live in your house and just do everything with your voice now without even having to lift a finger to eat and do things and order and whatever. But well, let's do other things too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what else is next? So here we've got Android Wear, which you mentioned earlier. And then also we have our Google Home Max, which is a big subwoofer-based speaker that's like really loud, booming audio for big rooms. Awesome, what's next? Say hello to Dialogflow. This is our tool that allows people to build conversational actions and experiences for the Google Assistant. It makes it really easy, you use machine learning to basically you train it with some example sentences and then the next thing you know you've built a conversation. We've actually been giving talks where in five minutes we build a booking action and show you how to build an appointment system and how to extract dates and times from people. It makes it really easy to build conversations. This is probably one of the most important tools when it comes to building for actions on Google and the Google Assistant. Awesome. Let's check out one more area. So now I've got Glenn from the Google Assistant SDK team to show us some really cool demos they're working on. Yeah, so with the Google Assistant SDK, we can put the Google Assistant into any device with a speaker and a microphone. For example, you may want to put it into a microwave oven or a set-top box. We decided for the show we'd have a little bit of fun and put it into a plotter. Hey Google, let's make some art. So what we're seeing here is a couple of different things. Um, first of all, we have the plotter talking to the Google Assistant and everything this guest is saying is going up to the, the cloud, being processed, and it can answer regular commands such as tell me the weather, but in addition to that, we've layered custom commands on top of it, such as draw a purple triangle. Makes it a lot easier, a lot more customizable for people to build applications that are built into appliances, set-top boxes, uh, cars, almost anything. Awesome, thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you. Wayne, thanks so much. If developers want to get started, where do they go? Yeah, no worries. So the best place to go is developers.google.com slash actions and get started with actions on Google, built for the Google Assistant. Awesome. If you'd like to check out some more videos like this, go to g.co slash io slash guide. And if you'd like to catch any of the sessions from io, g.co slash io slash videos. Let's get out of here. Let's go, man. See y'all later.